Hi, welcome. Hi. It's nice to meet you. I'm Paul, and I'm with Jackie Hoffman, Emmy-nominated star of Feud, Betty and Joan. Hey, good job. That was. See, I don't need to introduce you. You just did it. Nice job. I just job. took your job. It's that, over. Get out you. of the building. See you guys. Remove I'm your out. things. I'm out of here. Put them in a box. That's right. Well, welcome, guys, to meet your Emmy-nominated Jackie Hoffman. How are you doing? I'm very good. Good. Let's talk about this role. Mama, mama say, mama sa, mama mama sita. Mama, oh, mama say, mama sa, mama kusa. Mama uh-huh. say, mama. I'm, I had to do that because yeah. why not? Let's talk about your performance in this show. You steal the scene every time you're on screen. You're incredible in it. You really are so much fun and also so compelling. What's it like for you uh, taking on the role? I know you weren't supposed to be in the show for every episode, and you kind of made your way into being such a big part of the show. Yeah. How did this all happen? Begging in the writer's room helps. Yeah. Um, How did this all happen? How did I get the role? Yeah. I I auditioned and put myself on tape in New York, and at the time it was supposed to be a, a local hire gig, meaning it had to be someone from L.A. or you have to pay your own way. And then I paid it no mind because I didn't know what it was. Mm-hmm. And then I was told that there's interest. Mm. That's what they say in Hollywood. There's interest. Mm. And what was it like for you uh, playing a real person and such a funny character in that this person really existed with Joan, right? Yes, In, in real life. And a German... Oh, thank you. Is this for me to... Pardon me. This, hold on. Hold on. This is for you, though. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Um, I need Mamacita to handle the to, beverages. To, yeah, exactly. Mamacita, where are you? Um, I did a lot of beverage handling on that show. Bless you. I think. Okay. So tell me about um, playing um, playing this role because I think it's such a funny kind of backstory in real life. Yes, um, she. Well, I had read about her, Mama Sita. She was written about very little, and in a book called My Way of Life that Joan wrote, which is you can hear it on YouTube. She does a reading of it. It's hilarious. Don't put three white foods on one plate. Mm. You know, never serve fish with cauliflower. You know, she's. It's about her whole life, and she talks about. Mama Sita. So it was a it was a tremendous opportunity and a unique, bizarre relationship and a great character to play. And I knew very little about her, but I worked with incredible creators like Ryan and great writers. And I was playing opposite Jessica Lang. And what can you do but be sucked into her spell and be Joan Crawford's servant? It was like boom, easy. Well, you did a great job. You're up for Best Supporting Actress in a Limited Series, right? Emmy. Uh, apparently, there's so many categories and it's so complicated. Yes. Well, how does that feel? I'm You're up, up for, for an Best Emmy. Limited Actress <laughs> best. in a Limited Series. <laughs> how is that for you? That's a big deal. That's crazy, crazy town. I can't believe it. I'm humbled and thrilled and amazed. And, and you know, I mean, look at the, the women in the same category. It's mm-hmm. ridiculous. It's like... You know, Sarah Bernhardt, Glenda Jackson, Judy Dench. I mean, it's crazy. It's it's just crazy. Did you pull from any of your own memory of that time period in Hollywood for the show? With, with uh-huh. How old being, do you think I am? I don't know, but I think um, you were young when you maybe it happened. I don't know. Well, when they were <clears throat> when they were making whatever happened to Baby Jane, I was a toddler, so I wouldn't remember much. But I did get. I did get triggered in a really cool way because the set pieces, like right down to the last hairpin, they used vintage everything, vintage clothes, vintage packaging, Mm -hmm. the phones, the furniture, the every box, everything really like, oh, my mommy had hair curlers like this. So I really got such a great feel for the era. And I think it, it helped everyone's performance that it was so just meticulously and beautifully and perfectly and accurately done. And uh, yeah, I grew up watching Joan films, watching Betty films, watching Baby Jane! (laughs) So, I mean, you could tell it's such a real looking show. Everything is, it's it's the 60s. Yes, and it's a real acted show and Ryan wanted to stay away from that whole camp fest. And a lot of people have said to me, it's interesting because a lot of people, and of course everyone loves the show and they said, boy, when I first heard about this i thought this is gonna be some campy Mm. trashy thing and then they were of course delightfully surprised and amazed at how to use your word how compelling it was how real it was for sure well listen because you're so incredible as mama sita i'd like to do a quick funny thing with you if you're down Ooh, real quick do you want to funnier than not having water you can open 
Maybe we'll only have to find out. Okay, Here's how it works. I'm because, game. Because I love your interpretation of Mamacita. Mm-hmm. I'd like to see Mamacita come to life today if, you, if you're okay with that. Ooh, okay. Here's how it works. This takes place in the 60s, guys, right? Mamacita was a German maid in the 60s. I would love to see what Mamacita sounds like reading headlines of 2017 right now. I have oh, wow, a couple headlines this is great. of this week. These are real headlines, guys. They're all real headlines I pulled. What would Mamacita sound like saying these headlines? Here's what I'd like you to do, though. This is your close-up cam right here. So oh, okay. You're going you're gonna to commit. I'm, gonna, I'm now Ryan Murphy. This is what's happening. And here's your headlines. You can look at them before you go. And just for my own amusement and for fun, this is going to be Mamacita reads 2017 news headlines okay are you ready mama Sita? yes i don't want to block my face yeah we're gonna make sure you take a look at them maybe put it lower oh you want me to you want me to like be off book as they say in the theater you don't have to be but you can reference it but make sure you give us a compelling mama Sita performance to our close-up cam um this is going to be fun to see how mama Sita can handle what's going on today it's not okay to discuss donald trump's mental health says top u.s psychiatrist group we just do them all in a row. Yeah, that okay. was amazing. I, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm just going to sit here and laugh as you go. God, these are so complex, these headlines. You couldn't give me New York Post headlines? No, because I knew Mamacita could handle it. <laughs> yeah, but I can't. Okay. <laughs> Cyber staff, Wisconsin offers microchip to employees. Oh, offers to microchip employees. You said it, you said it right. <laughs> Just, you know, what's going on now in the world, the real headlines are so, like, freaking bizarre by themselves. Scaramucci on leaks. I'm going to fire everybody. Sounds like Miss Crawford. Senators on hot mic. Trump is crazy. I'm worried. Apollo 11 bag laced with moon dust sells for 1.8 million. Sold for coke dust gets 5.9 million. Oh, this is so good. Police, man threatens to pull gun over wrong taco order. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why she is up for an Emmy. Thank you so much for doing that. That was incredible. Thank you. This is great. This is the best game I've ever played. See? Thank you. Thanks for playing with us. Thanks for being here, guys. This is another edition of Meet Your Emmy-nominated Actress right here. Thanks for being here and hanging out. Jackie Hoffman. My great pleasure. To meet you. I can't wait to see how Shailene Woodley reads these headlines. Yeah, we're going to wait on that. Yeah, we're going to see. How would you feel about that? How do I feel about How do you what? feel about your reads? You did I, really good. Oh, I love it. I love the material. Can I keep this? Sure. Yeah. If you frame that, if you win the Emmy, I want you to put that next to the Emmy, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. That's a deal. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for being here. See you guys.